funding for the race in Connecticut's 5th District. A key Republican fund withdrew more than half a million dollars in advertising for their candidate. Channel 3's Waterbury Bureau Chief Owen Kingsley caught up with both candidates today. He's joining us live right now with more on this major race. Owen. Well, with less than two weeks until Election Day, the Congressional Leadership Fund withdrew hundreds of thousands of dollars of support for George Logan. Party leaders on both sides are weighing in. Meanwhile, early voting this week began here at Waterbury City Hall behind me and all across the 5th District. George Logan and Johanna Hayes, they're narrowing their focus right now towards which voters in this district they need to target. All gas, no brakes at this point. Both Congresswoman Johanna Hayes and her opponent, George Logan, are entering the final stretch of what could be a photo finish in the state's 5th district. Early voting this week has forced campaigns to adjust too. It brings the urgency, you know, in terms of making sure that we get our message out, making sure that uh, we, you know, we're knocking on those doors and we're working hard. I think the way it changes the campaign is that when we get into the days right before the election, we'll know where we need to target our resources, where we need to work the hardest, um, as opposed to blanketing the entire district if people are showing up in one place rather than the other. For now, both candidates are still blanketing. Today, for example, we're going to be in uh, Waterbury this weekend. We're going to Danbury. We're going to be in knocking on doors in uh, Meriden. This week, it was reported that the Congressional Leadership Fund was pulling $600,000 in ad money from Logan's campaign to spend elsewhere. If they truly believe that they could flip the seat and expand their majority, that Speaker Mike Johnson would still be investing in the 5th Congressional District. Our 5th Congressional District has always been one that has uh, potential to switch, but uh, I don't see that happening. The district has remained blue since 2006. Logan turned the attention towards Democratic spending on attack ads, suggesting it was a sign they are losing confidence in Hayes. Connecticut's Republican Party chairman believes the funding was pulled because it's needed in congressional races elsewhere. At some point, you look at the numbers and you say he doesn't need our help anymore. He's just he's just moving forward and, and okay. running and, and, and on a winning track. This is expected to be a close race. Hayes, who edged out Logan by about 2,000 votes in their first matchup back in 2022. Democrats, now they have controlled this seat since 2006, but in that previous matchup two years ago, that was by far the closest that Republicans have come to flipping this district. Live in Waterbury, I'm Owen Kingsley, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Owen, thank you.